Hi, I'm Marisol and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be unboxing the Happy Planners newest Be Happy box and it is oh how lovely and here I am. I'm not going to do a super detailed unboxing because I feel like this uh, box has been um, pretty much shown all over YouTube and Instagram but um, I'm gonna do a quickly kind of show the items that I did get so I got some like scratchy cards I got those bracelets for you and your bestie that embroidery kind of um, sticker uh, bookmark and then you get a big happy notes and I really like the happy notes and um, well the paper in this happy notes it is very simple, just um, that pattern floral on the side, you know, some lines, um, but for the most part, it's very uh, blank. And so here I am, I'm gonna bring you close so you can see um, this quick flip through. Um, there's, I know, some details all over the internet, so um, I'm not gonna do that, but I am gonna be using the sticker book. For this plan with me, which is January 23rd through the 29th, and I had um, gotten the two-day shipping and got it very fairly fast. Um, however, my daughter was very sick that this week that I'm planning for it, and so I just never got around to posting this plan with me. She had a um, fever of over a hundred and that lasted about three to four days. Um, she tested negative for COVID, negative for RSV, um, negative for influenza. So yeah, honestly, I don't know and nobody could tell me what she had, um, but she's gotten better um, and yeah, so yeah we're moving forward <laughs> so here i am i'm starting with the sidebar and these are uh, stickers for the big happy planner but you can use any stickers in any spread in any layout and size um so i'm gonna just gonna use it in my classic catch-all and I was very surprised at how easy um, these stickers were able to pull up without ripping the page. Um, I did put them on wax paper before, but they didn't stay there for too long. So I had placed them, but then I didn't find anything that would go on top of it. So that's when I decided to do that floral pattern on the bottom and just kind of shift um, those stickers, the box sticker and the quote to um, the top part. And here I am. So I am going to add on some little florals on that area on the top just to kind of, so it doesn't look so bare. Um, and then I'm going to move on with that big envelope sticker um i thought those envelopes were really cute um so i'm going to use them i know they take up a lot of um the spread but i can like write in several things in there so i didn't mind um, i'm not doing lines this week so i decided to do um checklist and uh here i am i'm placing things very lightly just because I wasn't sure of the placement quite yet. But once I kind of settle in on how I like it, um, I do kind of start uh, pressing a little bit more uh, to keep, you know, the stickers um, in that place. So I like the placement of all the stickers here. So now I'm just kind of whiting out the cat um on that area and i'm gonna go over it with some washi tape and you'll see that in a bit um so i do like how that first page turned out i know it doesn't there's a lot of white space and i should have probably put something kind of in that um 
on the Wednesday just because it looks so bare. But when I decided to do the washi, I thought maybe I can just do a strip there and um, that would kind of help bring everything together. So here I am. I know that pink is a little warmer than the pink that is actually on the spread, but I thought that if I layered it, like I'm going to layer it now, it would be less noticeable. So here I am. I'm taking the pink with the kind of orange and corally color, and I'm just going to start layering them and giving them... Um, different heights and lengths just to give some dimension to my spread make it look a little bit more interesting and I do do some like clean cuts but also some like ripped cuts to make it I don't know to me that looked aesthetically more pleasing so I do place that flower there, but then I kind of move it back to where I had it originally just because I took a lot of space on Monday and wanted to give um, as much writing as I can. So here I am. I'm going to start with placing this other envelope on this side of the page and I'm going to start putting in my checklist. I don't usually put lines on every day, so I'm not going to do checklists every day either. So two to three times a week where I have like a checklist or lines that's uh, worked for me. Um, and so that's pretty much what I do. So here I am adding that washi on that part down there. Um, and you'll see it kind of brought it together so it doesn't look so bare on that Wednesday anymore um, like that white spot doesn't look so bare to me now so here I am I thought I was gonna use this um, kind of tomb um, box on the top but decided not to uh, just to place it on the bottom and kind of cluster some boxes on the top so I thought I would um, use that like thin box on the bottom, um, but decided to cluster it with those boxes on the top. I am going to cut out that heart um, because I didn't have any hearts anywhere else and just I just wanted to keep it as uh, cohesive as possible. So now I'm going to bring in that dog with kind of that floral pattern just to um, bring some of that floral pattern onto this side. And since I have a cat on that other side, I thought maybe I put a dog um, on this side of the page. I'm going to add the washi and I'm going to do the same thing, just layer it um, in that area where it's pretty white just uh, to bring something there. Um, I don't think I wanted to add more boxes just because I have that big envelope that I can use and then I can always write on that like white space if I need it. I am going to move this box just I think it was a little crooked so I'm just fixing it and I am going to add a, another priority box like on for Sunday. Um, and so I'm just going to tuck it right under the dog. And I place it pretty close to the um, end of the page. And now I'm going to add the washi. And I do finish off with putting this on, putting some florals on that top corner of Sunday just to kind of bring some of that of the right page to the, to the from the left page to the right page and this is pretty much my spread so i'm going to put them back in my discs so you can see how this look um remember that if you like to see more of my contact you could always visit me at um, instagram at my little planning corner um if you like this 
uh, plan with me, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.